Hello, human peoples. You're listening to the podcast network of Gamefully Unemployed. Support us and gain access to great exclusive podcasts like Fox Mulder is a Maniac, Tom and Jeff Watch Batman, Star Trek The Next Futurama, and our latest show, Spiel Boys. Head over to patreon.com slash gamefully unemployed. We do game streaming, movie nights with our patrons every Friday night, and you can even commission your own podcast about anything you want. Literally anything, within reason, and we have to do it. You are quite frankly out of excuses not to go visit patreon.com slash gamefully unemployed. That's patreon.com slash G-A-M-E-F-U-L-L-Y unemployed, which is spelled like it sounds. To be or not to be. Not to be. Not a show. Mm -mm. (laughs) Mm-mm. This isn't a show! Welcome! Uh, Welcome. Nobody... Hey... Hey, listen. Nobody, hey. nobody pay attention. Hey, turn this off. <laughs> this is not a show. Yeah. Hey, everybody. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome to a brand new episode yeah. of Draft Action Hero. Chapter? Issue? I don't know, man. Uh, I, man, I think it's like 16, maybe 15, the episode. Uh-huh. I don't know. I honestly don't know. This is brought to you by James Rainey. Yeah. They they had us do this ages ago and we've been and we've been making our way through through adventure in let's put in big air quotes improv <laughs> question mark. <laughs> I'm one of the listen, hosts, David. Listen, it's Bell. technically improv in that you and I are just talking and we have no idea what we're gonna say. Yes. Yes. Uh so I am one of the hosts, David Bell, I'm and a, you are Tom. I am a second host, Tom uh, Ryman, and uh, neither one of us has a background in improv. <laughs> so. Yeah, and it shows. Boy, it shows. does it. But we but do have a background thing. in watching every trash action movie. <laughs> yeah, also, I would argue we have a background in, like, D&D and role-playing games. Mm-hmm. So, like, to me, what we're doing isn't improv. It's it's role-playing which, in my opinion, is improv, but you don't have to, like, pretend to know what you're doing, right? Yeah. You're, it's like improv, but you can, like, sit and think for a while. It's yeah. slow improv. It's, That's what... <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's bad improv. Yeah, it's improv if every every time someone yes-handed someone else, they then just sat there for 30 seconds trying to figure out what to do next. <laughs> and, and going like, hmm, uh, let's see here. Let what see, what should I at, say? Let me look back. at my charts. Yeah. Let me look at my Where players' we? we're, guide. We're, dent- we're in a dentist office. Okay. Um, shit. Uh, joke. It's less, it's, joke. It's less about creating a scene, Dave, and more about creating a saga. Exactly. That's what it is. And so, yeah. So, it, I mean, if you haven't w- w- lis- listened, not watched, if you haven't ear watched any of these episodes, uh, we're basically... Um, choosing from a roster of action movies under a single theme. We're then putting them through a series of scenarios involving a, a stated goal location and henchmen. And we play out an action movie with that action hero that me and Tom each have picked. And Mm -hmm. so we take turns solving the, the action scenes. So what you're going to listen to is us uh, figuring that out, figure out what are, what are we actually going to be doing today? And then we're going to do it. Yeah. And so today's theme for heroes is space heroes. Uh, and I, I believe Ooh. the way the, the way the order of operations goes is I list all the heroes, right? Mm-hmm. We flip a coin to see who does the draft first. Mm-hmm. Then we do the draft and then we decide all the little details and then we pick from our draft, right? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. So our space heroes are... Harry from the movie Armageddon. Yeah! Bruce Willis. <laughs> Bruce Willis. Shep from Suburban Commando. You can go ahead and assume that's, uh, that's Hulk the, Hogan. That's the Hulkster. That's Shep Ramsey. Yeah. Jonathan O'Neill from Stargate. Uh, that's Kurt Russell. Um, <laughs> Michael Jordan in Space Jam, who is played by Michael Jordan. Mm-hmm. Uh, Johnny Rico from Starship Troopers. Uh, that's Casper, Casper Van Diem. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, Ryan Stone from Gravity. That's that's Sandy Bullock. Mm-hmm. Uh, Todd three four six five. Our second Kurt Russell from Soldier. That's true. It is a second Kurt Russell. It is 
George Taylor from Planet of the Apes. That's Cheston. That's Cheston. your classic Cheston. So Chuck, yeah. Uh, not quite a hero, but we have David from Prometheus. Listen, he's uh, my that's hero. That's the evil robot. Yeah. <laughs> it's the that's, villainous robot. I would argue the anti, uh, like not anti-hero, but like uh, uh, the opposite of a hero. Yeah. What is that? Uh, I think there's a name for that. And we'll figure it yeah. out. <laughs> then we have Kane Wise from Jupiter Ascending. That's the Mog played by um, Channing Tatum. But you guys already knew that. I mean, you know. Yeah, of course you did. What, what's his uh, fucking name? Kane Wise? Kane Wise. Yeah, see, it's, that it's, was... yeah it's, it's, you know, penetrated every level of pop culture. We all know him. We all know that name. Yeah. It's, it's, oh, it's, yeah. It's, we all have bedspreads Kane Wise and, Kane and Wise Han Solo. Yep, yeah. he's right up there. It's his Kane Wise and Spock. Yep. Uh, we got He-Man from Masters of the Universe. I assume Dolph Lundgren. Sure, yeah. Right. Uh, and finally, although technically any version of He Man would count, yes. And finally, is the Predator from specifically I would say Alien versus Predator, right? Because he's the hero or she's the hero in that one, sure. Uh, but not you know Predator. Like it has well. to be. It, <laughs> <laughs> like again, it's our hero for sure. Yeah, the Predator. It's but my you favorite know what I mean. character. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So that's our lineup. And so now, uh, Tom, I got a shiny new quarter right here. Oh, hell yeah. A shiny new quarter from mm -hmm. 1985. Well, then it's not uh, that new, perfect. is it, Dave? It's new to me. That's true. That's true. I'm going to flip it, and you're going to say heads or tails. I will. All right. I'm flipping, call it. Tails. Yep. <laughs> Man. You, you got it. You got it, toots. I've so, lost, like, what, one of these? maybe two maybe two maybe two yeah i'm killing but it with the it's coin still flip. been phenomenal odds which means that you start the draft you pick one and then i pick two and two and two and two yeah until we've drafted them all we've reached so, the draft portion of draft action hero yeah this is what you all came here for i under, i realized like and i think i said this in half of these episodes but like half of these half of each episode is us just explaining the rules <laughs> yeah and like getting through it all yeah um, That's okay. fine. Uh, my first pick is Shep Ramsey from Suburban Commando. All right. I, I want the Hulkster, brother. Okay, well, Listen, dude. you know, that means I'm going to take the Predator, Tom. Mm -hmm. uh, one of us was going gonna, to. I know, one of us was going to. Uh, and then I'm going to take... Mm, I'm going to take Kane Wise from sure. Super Descending. Sure. I'm going to be perfectly uh, honest. Not a lot of these choices are going to matter to me from here on out. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, I got who I wanted. <laughs> okay. Okay, good. Well, make your next choice. My next choice is He-Man. Um, and then sure. I, I get another pick. Uh, uh, hmm. Who's another good one? Who's another good one? Um, I'll take Harry Stamper from Armageddon. Nice. All right. Well, I'm going to take Michael Jordan from Space Jam. Sure. Naturally. Yeah. Yep. Uh, and I'm going to take Ryan Stone from Gravity. That seems fair. Yeah, I think she's. I think she's got a chance. She's covered, covered in plot armor. That's true. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the point where she's literally careening off of piece of space debris. Exactly. Such is the strength of her plot armor. Uh, who do we have left? Um, we I'll take, have left. I'll take Todd oh. from Soldier. Okay. Um, who's left after that? Jo Planet of the Apes, Prometheus. I'll take Planet uh, of the and Apes. Stargate. I'll take Cheston. Okay. I will be taking Johnny Rico. Oh, good pick. And I will be taking O'Neill from Stargate, which leaves you with, oh shit, uh, Prometheus. Yeah, David leaves from me Prometheus. with David, yeah. Nice. Nice. Lucky you. All right, let's, um, okay, okay. So, Tom, you have Harry from Armageddon, mm -hmm. Shep from Suburban Commando, uh, you have Todd from Soldier, you have George Taylor from Planet of the Apes. You have David from Prometheus, and you have He-Man from Masters of the Universe. Mm -hmm. I have Jonathan O'Neill from Stargate. I have Michael Jordan from Space Jam. I have Johnny Rico from Starship Troopers. I have Ryan Stone from Gravity. Uh, I have Kane Wise from Jupiter Ascending, and I have the Predator from Predator. From, from Alien vs. Predator. From Alien vs. Predator. Yeah. And I'm, I'm just going to say right now, I'm probably going to use that. <laughs> the Predator <laughs> doesn't matter the scenario. Because yeah. it's the predator. It's yeah. It's predators. Pretty pretty uh, uh, a man of all seasons, I guess. <laughs> pretty adaptable. Yeah. Um, I like that we each got a Kurt Russell though. 
Yeah, that is nice. That is nice. So what we're going to be doing next is we're going to figure out our our henchmen, our location, uh, and our scenario. And we're going to start with the location. Mm. So here's what we have listed for the locations. Where is our action movie going to take place? Is it going to t- take place in a wild west town, <laughs> a haunted museum, mm. the city of Gotham? Question mark. Um, yep. Just the sky, Maybe. as in us, just plummeting from the <laughs> just sky. Just falling from the heavens. Yep. Uh, a volcano eruption town, Perhaps. as in a town where volcano is about to erupt. Or a retirement community. Possibly. Uh, yeah. Shall I spin the wheel, Tom? I think you should spin the wheel, Dave. Yeah. Okay, I'm already spinning the wheel. And it landed on a retirement community. Oh, fuck yeah. All right. Uh, I'm writing that down, Mm -hmm. only to erase it later. That's fine. All right. That's fine. Next, we are going to roll our henchmen. (laughs) Will it be a new metal band? (laughs) Uh, I I don't, by the way, I don't know a single new metal band, so that'll be fun. Uh, Dinosaur clones, stormtroopers, pirates, the sheriff of Nottingham's men, (laughs) the putty patrol. Sure. The Borg, or famous authors. Here we yeah. go. Spin in the wheel. Genuinely hope we don't get the Borg. That's going to be tough. That's going to be tough. Dinosaur clones. Perfect. So sure. dinosaurs, right? Is I that think... dinosaurs? Wait, did we do dinosaur clones? We did. Really? We did in Time Cop, I believe. God damn it. All right. Yeah, yeah I think you're right. So let's uh, we spin the wheel again. Damn, Predator would have been really good for that. Yeah. All right, spinning the wheel again. Although Predator uh, would have been really Predator's excited different. about that. Yeah, we have new metal bands. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure what that's going to be. <laughs> All right, Tom, you ready for the scenario? Yeah. <laughs> sure. All right, so the, what the scenarios are, there's a price on our head. It's really pulling for famous authors. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> There's a price on our head. It's a revenge rampage. Mm-hmm. We're doing a hurricane heist. Uh, we're stuck inside a computer. We got cranked, which means that if we stop moving, our heart explodes. Or the plot of speed, which it should be noted, will replace the location if that is what we land on. Are we ready? That's true, but it could still be a bus full of elderly people. Yeah. Well, it landed on stuck inside a computer. So that means our goal is to leave the computer. Okay. Um, so, so the computer is in a retirement community? It could be like in uh, Futurama. The retirement community is the Matrix. Oh, sure. That makes sense. It makes as much sense as anything. Yeah. So we are in a, yeah, we're in a retirement community that's where they've uploaded the elderly's uh, brains into the computer, right? Mm-hmm. And we need to get out. Uh, and the retirement community is run by new metal bands? I guess. Do we like this? Do we want to roll anything? Reroll anything? <laughs> I feel like there's something not visceral enough about being stuck inside a computer. I think that's true. Let's reroll that. Okay. Yeah. I mean, we're playing it real fast and loose now. Uh, we, we got cranked, Tom. <laughs> we got cranked. I mean... Those are the words I've yeah. been waiting to hear. Yep. So. My entire life, really. That means. So if. Okay. If I have this correct. Our characters are in a retirement community. Right? Yes. We wake up. We find a DVD that I think says fuck you on it. I'm pretty sure. If I remember crank correctly. <laughs> uh, we play. We play the DVD. And it is a new metal band. <laughs> telling us that while we were sleeping, they injected us with a drug that's going to make our heart stop if we uh, if we stop, you know, doing cool shit. Uh, and if we stop, pissed. if we stop moving, right? If we stop, well, if our heart rate goes down, mm-hmm. so it's like we have to keep our heart rate. Right, we have to be hype. We have to be hype. We have to fuck or do or do uppers mm-hmm. or fight, mm-hmm. and and then sometimes um, all three at once. Yeah. And so do we want to basically just take the plot of Cranked 
and put, and like map it over a retirement community. I suppose. And then the villain is a new metal band. Do we want to pick a new metal band? Uh, Papa Roach. Okay, so Papa Roach. I'm gonna go ahead and Google Papa Roach. Uh huh. Papa. This is a fun thing to do with you, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> Roach. Yeah, I don't know shit about new metal bands, so I think I'm just gonna I'm just gonna kill them like they were anybody, right? Yeah, I'm just gonna kill Papa Roach. Oh my goodness, look at these, look at these folks. Yeah, I look think, at these fine young men. I, I think they all combine together to make Papa Roach. Like, oh, like it's Papa like Roach, Roach is the name of their Megazord. Okay, got it. Yeah, I think that's how we handle this. Okay, okay, so. That means there are four members of Papa Roach. Okay. So to me, that implies four stages. And the final stage, I think it's three stages and then the Mega Roach, the, the Megatron Roach, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Papa Roach. Papa Roach. Yeah. So now it's time to remember the plot of Cranked. <laughs> Crank. <laughs> Crank is one of those movies that defies you to remember its plot. Yeah. I'm trying to think of the action beats. So there's like... The first fight, there's the fight at the bar. Yeah. Do we not want to, do we not want to like compartmentalize it based on crank? I don't think we need rather, to. Do we, okay. Okay. We we've simply to. been cranked. Mm-hmm. We have been, we have merely been cranked. Okay. Let's think in terms of retirement communities then. Sure. There's the, there's the board game like room. Yeah. There's right? the activity hall. Sure. There's Activ- the cafeteria. Activity hall. There's Cafet- going to there's going to be an outdoor place with like shuffleboard and racquetball and a swimming pool. Outdoor place, yeah. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, man, we I gotta, feel like the outdoor place is the final stage. Yeah, yeah. There's a couple of options. Uh, yeah, I feel like that could be. There's like administration offices. Um, there's, there's like there's the the, the hidden ward for. I was gonna, that? I was gonna say there's the hidden sexnasium that's in every retirement community. I was gonna. I, I thought that counted as the activity hall. I think so. I yeah. figured the fucking happened in they the just, activity hall. They just they just press a button and everything flips around like a like a speakeasy. Yeah. And uh, voila, sexnasium. Right, 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 right. Mm-hmm. And then fine. I, I was. I there's like the 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 depressing ward. Like yeah. you know the ward when they're on their way out. Maybe there's a helipad. Aren't there, sure. Are there helipads on retirement homes? I wrote helipad. I, ho- yeah. I wrote helipad. There are helipads. Every retirement home has them. That works really well, I think. Yeah, I think so, too. Okay, so we have an activity hall, cafeteria, outdoor place. I, I think we would start in our room, right? Like, start in room. Right. Because we've, we've you have been, to learn you've been cranked. We've been cranked, and then we wake up. Yeah in a retirement and we, home because and we go to the activity hall right the villainous papa roach has uh, uh, quite correctly realized that there is the place to get you know to forbid you from doing anything hype is a retirement home right right it's and, anti-hype. Okay, okay so i think what's happening mm-hmm. okay is papa roach is waiting for the helicopter mm-hmm. right yeah probably um that seems like something a, they would we do probably we probably need a few metal bands right um be, uh, let's have a new metal band for each uh room right for okay. each stage sure papa roach is the boss at the helipad yeah so papa roach did this to us mm-hmm. um i'm writing it down so i don't forget mm-hmm. uh and they're waiting for the helicopter to come so naturally we start in the activity hall uh and there's a new metal band there we we go from the activity hall just goes to the cafeteria which goes outside which leads to the helipad. So we're just trying to get to Papa Roach to fucking murder them because that's what y- you do when you've been cranked. Like yeah. there's no, there's no, um, like there's no goal here. It's just, I'm going to kill as many members of Papa Roach as I can before my heart explodes. I suppose. I think we're trying to get, you know, we're just trying to do our own activities. Like we're trying to get to the activity hall and play some connect Four. that'll get the blood pumping. Get right. outside, do some racquetball, do some swimming, do a couple laps, maybe play some okay. horse. Um, right. And then we can get to the the helipad and ride a helicopter and, you know, do all kinds of crazy cool stuff with a helicopter. That'll get your heart beating. Oh, that's true. Mm-hmm. Um, Papa Roach, I so, think, is just the obstacle that stands within our path. Right. Uh, but we need to get there. Mm-hmm. So we probably have to fight Slipknot at some point, right? Slipknot, I think, yeah, Static X will probably be there. All right, I'll put Slipknot as the fi- the second boss. That's they feel sub bossy, yeah. Yeah, 
They, in they, the cafeteria. They, Slipknot, who's in the cafeteria? Slipknot already looks like henchmen, so that's perfect. Like they yeah. look, they who look else? like the neon criminals from Batman Forever. Yeah. Who else did you? Who else did you? Static X. Static X. Okay, I've never heard of them, but sure. they could be in the cafeteria, right? Yeah, probably. Um, and then in the activity hall, uh, we could have. Let's see. I don't know. Limp Bizkit, uh, Corn. Oh, yeah, Mudvayne. Mudvayne. Um, we can do Mudvayne. I don't give a shit. Again, I don't know anything about these people, so I'm gonna do Mudvayne. Okay, so to recap, we will we will get up, start in the activity hall, uh, and fight Mudvayne. Then go to the cafeteria and fight Static X. Then we'll go to the outdoor area and fight Slipknot to finally uh, kill Papa Roach at the helipad, right? And we have to never stop moving. That's true. Yeah. Okay. We're good now. We have one final decision to make, Tom. Okay. Who are we going to be? Hmm. Well, I mean. Who are we going to be? <sighs> Listen, I came into this thinking I was just going to pick Shep Ramsey. Right. Uh, and I probably still am. But like, I'm getting some, some, pretty, some pretty strong competition from He-Man. Uh, mm, and that's David tough. and David the android <laughs> yeah <laughs> who doesn't have a heart so he must be much more difficult <laughs> to crank yeah I don't know what that means for him yeah I don't know <laughs> yeah. Um, I think I'm, I'm gonna stick with Shep Ramsey though I'm gonna I'm gonna be the Hulkster space Hulkster okay and uh, uh bo- if, boy. Because, if anyone needs to uh <laughs> yeah <laughs> try to keep his heart from exploding it's Hulkamania <laughs> <laughs> oh no <laughs> ah jeez who do i choose predator it's predator i'm yeah, gonna be predator of course yeah and now since you won the toss mm-hmm. uh who goes first um i'm gonna say you go first dave okay yeah so <laughs> <laughs> because so i don't predator- want to no no i understand i understand completely <laughs> so i wake up i wake up in my um my room in little, the retirement community little gown Are we old? with, with the, back the idea open? that we're old we could be i think we've just been stuck in here we've just been stuffed in the retirement home okay so i mean hulk hogan is old but like predator i think predator can do whatever he wants yeah that's fair uh so i wake up mm-hmm. i'm in my full armor right uh, I see the DVD of them like, <laughs> like fucking with my body while I slept. <laughs> my predator body, Papa Roach, Papa Roach. <laughs> cranking you um, in your sleep. <laughs> yeah, they crank me. One of them tea bags me. Uh, and uh, I, I am furious. I, I let out my predator murder. roar. Yeah, yep. do it. I, I, I let out my roar. Um, and I, I sit down and I open my little predator satchel. You know, you know the one. I know the one. Yeah, his little uh, field kit. It's like his big Leatherman. It's yep. <laughs> Predator's like a stepdad on a camping trip. He gets all these like little kits that he bought from the sports authority, and he can't wait to whip them out. Yep. And I, uh, I look for my uh, Predator speed, my cocaine. Yeah. And when you know it, I don't have much. I have like a knuckle bump left, and I'm like, fuck. You know, I mean, like that. You had a pretty good night the night roar, before. I yeah. Roar. Yeah. yeah. You roar fuck. Uh, it's in the predator language. I roar fuck. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. So I, I do a little... I, I Not to be I confused my, with the activity um, roar fucking. Right. Different thing. I d- yeah. That'll come up. <laughs> 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 uh, I'm sure that'll come up. Um, so I, I take my little... Um, I take my little mandible. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, and Your little I, crab leg I face. Little, Your yeah, crab leg crab mouth. Face. And I and I and I um and I snort my knuckle bump using the mandible. Does right? like does each little tooth like scoop it up into your nostril? Yeah, that's what I'm exactly. picturing. Like a loom, like, th- 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 like yeah, a spider exactly. in a loom. <laughs> exactly, like... and I'm just <laughs> just sniffing it up. Mm, num, 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 num. And I and I and I run straight through the wall. Yeah, <laughs> uh, into the activity room, into the activity hall where they are um, playing uh, like bingo. But it's like swingers bingo, probably. So they're like secretly uh, exchanging. Oh yeah, they're uh, like sucking each other's fingers keys. and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. It's real, mm-hmm. really hot. Mm-hmm. Uh, and when you know mud veins in there, <laughs> 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 so who's mud vein? <laughs> do 
they do they have any songs that I know? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> you Someone picked Mudvayne, Dave. Song. <laughs> no, I didn't. Did yes, I you did. Really? Yeah, Mudvayne is the one you picked. Yeah, no, I'm I'm looking at a list of songs. Nothing's popping you out. You got nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so they um they're like, yeah, we're mud vein. We put mud in your veins, right? That's our thing. That's probably a song. We put mud in veins. Wow, I'm looking at a picture and they are they do not look great. <laughs> gonna have to think my mudvane fandom one of them looks like he's doing darth maul cosplay <laughs> uh, dave that can be said about any band we put in any, here yeah that's true that's one of them true. randomly looks like darth maul yeah that is that is new metal isn't it wow these guys look like assholes <laughs> oh shit all right, so I, the predator starts laughing every, right away. Every new metal band looks like the toughest guys at the state fair. Right. <laughs> he starts. So the predator makes his laugh, his like Billy laugh. Yeah. <laughs> because Mudvayne looks very funny, um, <laughs> and so like that, like I'm all coked up and laughing, uh, <laughs> doing the and Billy I, laugh, and Dave. So was Billy. <laughs> yeah, you're right. He was. <laughs> I uh I go okay I go into my camo and I'm like haha they can't see me and they're like well that's obviously him there at least like you can sort of see him yeah you can always sort of see the predator he's yeah really... he's never fully invisible I wonder if he is aware that he's not completely invisible or if that I don't would know. like or if that would like devastate him if he knew mm. like we're all just playing along yeah yeah, yeah. it's like the emperor's new clothes. <laughs> Yeah. So Mudvayne uses their powers. They it's shoot like playing hide and seek with the baby. Exactly. <laughs> Where'd he go? Where did Predator go? Oh, there shoot he is. Predator chuckling to himself. <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. Um, uh, Mudvayne uses their superpower, so they shoot mud from their veins from like their Spider Man. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, and that, and oh my God, shit! You know what they do? They shoot it on each other. This fucks me up. Because I can't see Mudvayne now. Ah, and that's Mudvayne. How, little They're did you know, Dave. Mud. Yeah, you picked, they have mud veins. You picked Damn your it. kryptonite. Fuck! Yeah, right away. Mm -hmm. um, and so I'm pissed, and I'm already starting to, like, get drowsy and feel my heart, mm -hmm. um, you know, it start, start to go. So I pick up one of the old people, and I stab myself with the old person. Yeah, um, just inject the, yourself with the old person. Well, like in the arm, I like jam them into my, into my arm real, real hard. And like, it doesn't like they, they kind of crunch up, but like a bone or two like snaps into me and I go, Rah! and I make my predator thing and my, uh, and then my, um, my heart just starts racing. So now I know mud veins in the room, right? And I'm the predator. Mm -hmm. And the goal of this situation is to kill mud vein. Uh, and so I'm going to use my predator nets, right? Yeah, probably. And so I'm going to start hucking those nets out and just getting like, you know, like I'm like I'm hunting tuna and shit. I'm just getting net after net of old people. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's crunching them right up into a slurry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm making I'm doing some uh, Soylent green. Yeah, shit yeah, yeah. Here. Mm -hmm. This uh, tuna is not dolphin safe. This, right. This tuna. Do you, and Mudvayne, they don't care about the. No, why the would they care? People, why do would they, they care? No. Fuck, man, this is hard. How do I get mud vein? Because I'm sure, okay, I, I would I would grant myself like I'd maybe get one or two of the mud veins this way, right? Um, you, maybe you, you net them, you net them. Well, what would you, what'd you say? There's four mud veins. Mm -hmm. Um, oh, you know what it is? Okay, I think I think um, I think the one that looks like Darth Maul. I think he still stands out. I don't think there's any amount of mud that's gonna make him not stand out. So I I elect that I I get that that mud vein oh shit i know what i do i'm the okay 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 so mm -hmm. i did that maybe i get one of the mud veins but sure. what i actually do is i take two old people uh and i start rubbing them together to make a fire um there and i go. make a yeah. fire mm -hmm. primitive and tools the fire yep and i and i uh put it up to the um sprinkler sprinklers and i set the sprinklers off and guess what guess who doesn't have mud on them anymore it's mud vein mm. Mudvayne doesn't. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they should have uh -huh. thought of that. They should have. 
Uh, and then I take out my um, shit. What are those called? The little round things. The discs. Little round dildos. Little predator, predator the discs. discs. Isn't there a word for them? Oh, probably. Son of a bitch. The smart disc, uh, I think. I don't remember. They're like the Kroll discs. They're oh, like a glaive. Uh, glaive. Thank you. Yeah. They're glaives, right? Are they not glaives? I suppose. I just the, the discuses are little frisbees. We know what we. Everybody listening knows what we mean. Right. And so now that Mudvayne has, uh, um, there's, there's, uh, now that, now that they're visible and I have my glaives, I go to kill them and I realize they're a new metal band and they technically, uh, can't harm anyone. That's true. And, yeah. and I'm like, uh oh, my one, my other weakness, mud and cowards, you <laughs> and, know, and boring music. <laughs> yeah. And boring music. And I realize that new metal is so fucking dull that there's, yeah, there's nothing I can do. And then my heart starts, uh, my my heart starts uh like yeah. like failing. You had a lot of trouble with Mudvayne, Dave. <laughs> I'm having a lot of trouble with Mudvayne because they're harmless, right? And I'm the predator, and they have mud. They have everything, everything. So I'm I'm lo- I'm losing it, right? I'm yeah. losing it, mm-hmm. and I'm like shit. My heart's gonna stop. Uh, so I look around the room, and I and I look I look for the the old person that looks like they're probably were a Nazi, you mm-hmm. know? Oh yeah, there's always at least one in every group. Yeah, and I go for that old bastard, mm-hmm. and I glaive him into pieces. Sure. Uh, and that brings my heart rate back up. And then I um and then I stick my glaive in an electrical socket and electrocute myself. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so hard I fly across the room. Mm-hmm. Uh and then I leave and Mudvayne does nothing because they're a new metal band. <laughs> <laughs> they present no threat to me. And that's how I'm going to get to the cafeteria, Tom. That's fair. That's fair. All right. All right. All right, so Shep, That's my turn. Shep Ramsey, the uh, the interstellar uh, hero from Suburban Commando, wakes up in an old folks' room. What, dude? I don't know where I am, brother. <laughs> Sees the DVD of uh, of uh, uh, Papa Roach cranking him. Like, oh, what are these dudes up to? Uh, doesn't understand what a TV is, because if you remember Suburban Commando, uh, one of the key jokes, uh, recurring jokes from the film, is that Shep just doesn't understand how normal life works. I would argue that's any Hulk Hogan movie. Generally, yeah. But uh, yeah. because we're talking about Shep Ramsey, that's like a big part of Shep's characters. He just doesn't understand things. Right. Things things work differently in space. He doesn't know what a TV is. So the first thing I try to do, brother, is I try to reach inside this little box and see what these tiny men are doing to my body. Uh, and right. that doesn't work out. I just like punch through the glass. Um, and and, uh, 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 and they, they, I, I immediately shove my hands to the glass. And of course, the TV breaks. And, and uh, Hulk's just like, where'd they go? So I carry the box out into the activity room to try to see if Mudvayne can help me find Papa Roach inside the box. There were these little dudes inside this box, brother, that were doing things, all kinds of weird stuff to my body. And the Hulkster takes good care of his body, if you know what I mean. Um, <laughs> uh, saying my prayers and eating my vegetables. Shooting a lot of anabolic steroids into my ass. Um, Mudvayne doesn't know what the hell I'm talking about. <laughs> Right, why would they? They're like trying to explain to me what like a DVD is and like what television is. <laughs> um, and it all just sounds like nonsense to me. It sounds like a lot of uh, malarkey uh, generated by Emperor Dragos to try to confuse me from my mission of keeping my heart rate up. Right. So uh, the Hulkster uh, sits down uh, to try to keep his heart rate up. He finds, uh, you know, one of the, 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 the closest... Uh, he, he searches for a contemporary within the old folks' home, uh, of which there are several. So I sit down next to like a, a 75-year-old gentleman because we're the same age um, and start to uh, play like some Connect Four with him. But he's trying to explain the rules to me. Um, uh, and, and Shep doesn't understand because he doesn't understand how Earth games work. Right. So I got to get four colors, dude. So I just reach into the box and just grab four discs at once and just drop them all in at once and win immediately. Um, And then I don't understand why the old guy gets mad at me. He's like, that's not how you play. He's like, what do you mean? I connected four. Um, (laughs) The game's not titillating. It's not titillating for the Hulkster. Um, So somebody tells him, oh, it's that it's that it's that famous band Mudvayne. They'll they'll get your heart up. All right. All right, dudes. I heard you played music. Let's hear it. And they're like, we're new metal. It's like, what's that mean? Means you 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 play metal. (laughs) I don't, I don't, you mean like you play metal? I don't get it. So I like start beating on like a piece of metal, like a metal lunch tray. It's like, like this, like with, you know, playing, playing spoons right. on it. Like that's what Hulkster, that's what Hulkster thinks metal is, is he thinks it's like playing spoons because you're beating metal together. Because he doesn't understand things. He's like a baby, Dave. He's like a big baby. Right. From space. And he's, he's not, he's not wrong. He's not know, wrong. But... <laughs> he's not wrong. Yeah. Um, 
so my heart rate has fallen though, Dave. It's fallen. It's hard to keep up. It's it, it, you know right. when when you're an athlete at his peak, like Shep Ramsey, like the Hulkster. <laughs> It's hard to keep up, so I call up my friend Bubba the Love Sponge. Ah, <laughs> yeah, Bubba. Dude, I need to see if you can videotape me throwing one in your way. <laughs> <laughs> Get my heart weight up, brother. Um, so I do that, uh, and Mudvayne leaves in disgust because <laughs> right. it's just it's just sad and uncomfortable and weird. Um. So, uh, yeah, I just, I, I, I make a sex tape with, with Bubba the Love Sponge's wife, uh, uh, yeah. until, until my heart rate gets dangerously high, uh, almost enough to keep, to, to give the Hulkster a heart attack, uh, but just enough not to die, uh, and I'm good to go. I'm, I'm good to continue on my mission. Um, so I pick up the, uh, the Smash TV and I, and I carry it out into the next room to try to see if anybody can, can explain to me where the four little men inside this box who were fucking with the Hulkster's body went. Yeah, that's fair. This the, the Hulkster's body is his temple, Dave. It's a right. it's it's a leathery uh, hot dog colored temple. Yeah. Uh, All yeah. right. <laughs> so there's and now that. we're in the cafeteria. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, <clears throat> the predator steps into the cafeteria immediately sees Static X because boy, did I Google Static X, Tom? Oh yeah, yeah, Dave. And, he has uh, Bart Simpson hair. Yes, he has Bart Simpson hair. Mm-hmm. That is it's, so new it's metal bands are genuinely just silly. impressive. Yeah. <laughs> they're just very funny people who <laughs> they're, think they're very they're all, scary looking. They're they're is bas- that what's going on? I think they're basically like types of har it's like a I think a new metal band is like a type of Harlequin. Yeah, I guess. Um, but like y- they're the most unimpressive looking <laughs> people sure. I've ever seen. Yeah. I guess that's what I'm getting at here. Um and uh and so I start laughing uh, again as Predator, uh, and they all look at me, and I go, oh, shit, and I cloak, and I jump on the, like, the buffet, like, the sneeze guard, Mm -hmm. and I stay very still, because that's the highest point in the room, and a Predator (laughs) is very much like a cat. It's the highest perch. (laughs) It's the sneeze guard on the salad bar. uh, Yep. So I, uh... (laughs) Getting his toenails in the jello. (laughs) Yep. Yeah, so I'm standing there real still, real still so no one can see me, but everybody can see me, but they're just pretending not to because they're not sure what I am. Because it's polite. What I'm going to do. Yeah, I mean, some of the old people definitely can't see me, but they can't see much of anything. Um, And while I'm up there, I quickly Google on my little alien smartphone, Static X, (laughs) Uh, and I I, um, watch a music video or two, and I decide they are a threat, new metal bands. Maybe not like a violent threat, mm-hmm. but like generally speaking, they're a threat, right? Uh, to like the integrity of music, uh, you know. <laughs> sure, uh, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't listen. I'm my heart is fading, and I'm I need I need a way to kill these guys, and they're presenting no threat whatsoever, except for the way they look. Um, and so I decide that the lead singer's hair is dangerous. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, no, someone could get hurt. Someone could get hurt by that hair, right? It's but right? it's, it's possible. It's possible. Yeah. It's like a Mortal Kombat stage fatality on his head. All right. Again, I need something. I'm the predator. I I I desperately need to I'm surrounded by old people in new metal bands. I'm desperately looking for a threat. Uh and so I'm like that hair could poke someone's eye out. And so what I do is I quickly I snort some mashed potatoes just to get my heart going. Uh and that just really fucks me up and i start coughing and like it just splooge like just uh green bright green splooge everywhere coming out of my mandibles uh ruin the buffet and uh static x is like hey what the hell man you were in the buffet i'm we're here to see our grandparents and i I, and uh i roar and i in my roar i say your hair someone could hurt themselves and i demonstrate i pick up an old person and i throw it at the static x guy um and I throw him. I throw him pretty hard so that it doesn't pale. The old person doesn't pale on him, but not really because of the hair. You know, mm-hmm. it's more just on his head. Right. Uh, and that's enough for me. You know. That's... <laughs> <laughs> and so I just go into berserker mode. Right. Sure. And I I I, I throw my discs. Um. And what I do is I. I completely lop off the lead singer Static X. If he's listening, I have nothing against you except your hair. I'm sorry. I have murdered you in this fantasy. Um, <laughs> I, I really, I'm really sorry. 
Uh, and then as his head flies in the air, I throw my fist out and I, I, I um, plunge my fist into his skull using his hair as like the, my new weapon. Oh, sweet. Right? Like a gauntlet. Like a gauntlet. It's your new shredder gauntlet. Exactly. And so I have, I have my regular spikes on the other hand. Mm-hmm. Um, and, you know, maybe I have my spikes through his head as well um, just to, you know, keep a grip. And I just, uh, you know, absolutely demolish uh, Static X. Um, <clears throat> you know, I systematically skin them. Mm-hmm. I hang them up. Sure. Um, yeah. And I take their skulls um, mm-hmm. and I put, them, I put them, you know, on my belt. Yeah, that's where uh, they go. That's where skulls go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I, um, well, my heart, you know, I'm having heart troubles again. So I start having sex with the mashed potatoes. Uh, and I just, I just, you know, I just wreck those potatoes. They were asking for it. In front of all, yeah, in front of all the old people, Mm -hmm. uh, as the old people watch, uh, as I, I just covered in blood and green. Uh, and of course, you know, the jizz is green because of course it is. Uh, yeah, I was, pro- uh, was going to say it's either green or it's indistinguishable from mashed potatoes. Yeah, it's one or the other. Mm-hmm. And I'm telling you now it's green. <laughs> 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 so it's like a fucking it's like it's like the kids choice of words up in here. Is this green <laughs> shit going everywhere? <laughs> it's really uh, odd. Nobody's nobody feels good about it. Nobody, Very including the predator. Yeah, especially yeah, the predator. I would say. Yeah, again, it's it's it's. I'm grunting one out out of necessity mm-hmm. uh, to get my heart rate yeah. going. You know, clicking one uh, out. And I suppose. And it, much like crank, yeah, clicking one out. <laughs> it's like crank where it's really um, it's really public. Yeah. In fact, <clears throat> unlike crank, nobody cheers me on. It just uh, you know everybody just watches in silence. Yeah. As I fuck the mashed potatoes. Yeah, it's just um, it's just wet thrusting sounds, just echo- right. echoing in a giant silent room. Yeah. And when I finish, I, I leap back up onto the sneeze guard and I go, shoop, I go into camouflage uh-huh. and nobody can see me, even though my crotch is covered it's in mashed so they potatoes. Can see, they can see the little mashed potato beard you have <laughs> on your crotch. Yeah. And, and they can kind of see all the blood and the other stuff on me. Yeah. But I stay really still mm-hmm. until everybody slowly, one by one, averts their eyes, uh, leading me to conclude that I have, in fact, uh, uh lost them yeah i'm they, no longer they, they don't know where to find you now exactly and then i and then i leap out the window <laughs> 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 because i'm still on a mission i'm still on a mission tom i'm trying to because this is all one big rampage right like i i fought mud vein got blasted through the wall from electricity into the cafeteria killed static x fucked sh- some mashed potatoes and now i leapt out the window into the outdoor area, which, uh, you know, Slipknot will be waiting for me. Sure. Yeah. All right. So Shep Ramsey stumbles into the uh, cafeteria uh, and yep. immediate, immediately sees uh, the, the, the buffet, the buffet. So he shambles over to the face. Like, oh, bro, brother, I'm starving, dude. Uh, Flexians from planet Daytona Beach uh, <laughs> need to consume 17,000 Earth calories every hour. Um, so what what happens is a very very uh, delightfully family family comedy sequence of me just eating seventeen plates of of just piled high <laughs> with carbs uh, and this you know it's just like a rec- record scratch and all these old people turning around and like clutching their pearls at the sheer right. amount like the like, like the truly grotesque amount of macaroni casserole Shep Ramsey is just horking down his fucking orange gullet. You see the vein, yep. you can see the veins working, like I'm sweating, like I'm sweating. I look like a snake. I look like an orange snake. Yeah, you do. With a blonde mullet <laughs> and a handlebar mustache. Just yeah. the most vascular man in the galaxy. Mm-hmm. Just swallowing macaroni casserole and breakfast lasagna and rotisserie chicken. Just hammering it down. Um, and this gets my heart rate pretty high. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, would, I've got to be honest. My doctor has told me to watch what I eat, uh, specifically right. starches. Uh, but Shep's not worried about any of that right now because he's got to get to the bottom uh, of the mystery of the tiny men inside this box. And he sees right. uh, the static X dude who stands out. Um, and he mistakes his little his little hair, his little spiky Bart Simpson hair, for like a space crown. 
Uh, so he thinks this guy's in charge. So I walk over to that guy. I'm like, what's up, brother? I need to talk to you. Uh, you seem like you're the king of this here facility. So I need to talk to you about these little guys inside this box, dude. Dancing around inside the Hulkster's chest. Um, <laughs> and uh, he doesn't know what I'm talking about. He's trying to explain to me that he's, he's uh, my name's Wayne Static. I'm the leader, lead singer of, of, of Static X. And, and all Shep here is a Static. Oh, brother, I can help you take care of that. Uh, and I pull out like a little space age gizmo um that like d i don't know it like it rela- it's let's call it a relaxer uh it removes the electric charge from anything um so i go ahead and just kind of jolt him with that i'll take care of that for you brother Zoop. uh and immediately his hair just like wilts it just goes completely flat <laughs> on his head um and then another there's another record scratch noise um so now i've just got wayne static with wilty hair and he's very sad um Aww. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Guy. What happens next? <laughs> what does happen next? What does happen next? And I can see that he's kind of sad. He's like, oh, dude, you just messed up my hair. Oh, dude, you needed a haircut? Why didn't you just say so? Um, so I use the, the I, I give him, I re-static him. I re-static him so his hair stands back up. And then Shep Ramsey grabs like some of the chef knives or whatever from the buffet. And he starts going Edward Scissorhands on the guy's head, trying to help out, you know, but he doesn't understand her right. customs. So I end up cutting like a Hulkster silhouette into his hair. Uh, you know, like a, a, hill, a silhouette of the Hulkster, like his, 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 his mullet, his handlebar mustache, the headband, just right in the center. You know what I mean? Like a shadow right. puppet, like a little... Like a little thing you'd put over a flashlight and you shine a light through it. It looks like the Hulk signal. Right. Um, yeah, yeah, so that's that what I out. do. And then Wayne Static's even more bummed, but like Hulkster doesn't realize it. He thinks like, yeah, no, no need to thank me, brother. Just uh, just doing just another another day of being a do-gooder in, in, in the galaxy, dude. Um, <laughs> and then I jump out the window. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a Hulk Hogan thing to yeah. do. I do a big, I do the big, the big boot through, uh, I do a big boot to kick the, the glass out and then I just do the leg drop out the window to get outside. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. Well, now we're in, we're in the outdoor place. We're heading to the helipad, right? Yes. Uh, and so I have jumped out and there's Slipknot and they are just playing a show because their fans are already old. Uh, it's and true. so it's they're true. just playing a show it's at true. the retirement community. And so what I'm seeing is like 12 people, in various masks, right? Playing a show. Uh, and some of them, to me, look just like other predators. Uh, because they have, like, those <laughs> Indistinguishable masks. from other yeah. predators. Yeah, well, also, like, you've seen the predator's vision. It's not great on Earth. <laughs> uh, in fact, one, I take off my one, mask and it just all turns red. And I'm like, ah. Rrr. One might um, call it bad. One might call it bad for a, a, a creature... Known as the predator, he thinks he has better vision. Superior hunter, and his vision right. sucks. <laughs> right. So I see all those, um, those predators, and then I see on stage what also appears to be a few aliens. The guy with the spiky fucking head, dude with the long nose. Oh yeah. <laughs> like there's a few that I'm like, oh, oh, those are my friends. They're fighting aliens. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> that's a good way to get my heart can, rate going. I can see the various shapes of Slipknot triggering Predator. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and just freaking out Predator uh, like a cat. So I I, uh, I jump on stage and like the guy with the spiky um, the, the spiky one, I instantly cut off his head Aww. and then I do, and then I do the warrior thing where I take his blood and I try to like make a mark on my skin with his acidic blood, but it's not working. And I'm like, what the fuck? Um, and so I slaughter the ones that I think are aliens. And then I'm like, whew, like in, all in predator speak. I'm like, oh my God, you guys, let me tell you what is happening with my day. I woke up in this retirement community. Uh, these guys, they poisoned my blood. I'm trying to get to them. Um, and I saw you guys out here, and it's nice to see some of my fellow uh, predators. Meanwhile, all Slipknot hears is just me going, <laughs> I'm just roaring at <laughs> yeah. them, assuming that they're uh, fellow predators uh, that are there to help me. Uh <laughs> And uh, meanwhile, I guess the audience is just watching this all happen. Mm -hmm. Uh, And and I'm like, uh, you know, what's going on, guys? Why do you look so nervous? Um, And so and and that's I think that's when I like start realizing that the blood isn't burning. And I'm like, what's going on here? 
and then I have to um, I have to figure out. God, how do I figure this out? That new metal bands they're tricksty, right? Uh, sure. Some of them look like predators. Yeah, they're trickster guys. <laughs> and humans like humans like to dress up like assholes. Mm-hmm. So I like. Oh, you know, I I remove one of their masks um, because I think it's my coworker uh you know from back home and he's got a disgusting human face and i'm like oh ew oh fuck uh (laughs) and i'm really grossed out so i squash him immediately like a spider and i'm like oh god damn it fuck uh and so i jump up on the uh stage the highest point Mm -hmm. and i i go invisible again yeah uh as the predator does yeah i'm the wind uh and then i uh I okay. This is a real so conundrum, I, Dave. <laughs> well, how to deal with Slipknot? I mean, I I'm pretty sure they're a threat. Um, and I feel generally, uh, I feel generally, um, like betrayed by the situation. Mm-hmm. Uh, and my heart rate has gone up, uh, a little bit, but it's still not enough. Uh, and I, um, okay, so I start to pass out. So I go in my little arm dildo, and I set my bomb. <laughs> And the Slipknot just sits at the stage and they hear beep, 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 beep as I sit there and I smoke a cigarette uh, and then I explode, killing Slipknot and everything within a half mile radius. Sure. Uh, which doesn't count the helipad. Uh, and then the Predator, the predator uh, ship comes down uh, and, and they're like, uh, <laughs> I'm really going off the rails here, Tom. Uh, and, they're, and they're like... Uh, well, we we're gonna so they so they they pick up my body, uh, and they uh and they give they give uh the surviving member of Slipknot a revolver mm-hmm. from like the 1700s, uh, and then they put another predator down. They're like, okay, you finish, and they fly off. I, I think have that been works. replaced. <laughs> You've been swapped out. <laughs> I've been swapped out because that's the beauty of the predator, man. Is when we fail, we can just explode and then start over. And so they're like, all right, new predator. Uh, you got to go. You got to kill Papa Roach. All right, go. And I'm like, all right, I'll do it. Uh, and this is now this is now like a hunting trial predator, right? I suppose. Yeah. I mean, that's up to you, Dave. It's the it's you and the power of your imagination. Well, the first predator, I don't know why the first predator was on Earth. He just woke up in a retirement community. Mm-hmm. This predator uh, is now like revenge hunting. They're like, you're going to get you're but, gonna get your um, your patch for this. But this predator like your, has also been cranked. Yeah, they crank me. They cranked you. Yeah, you've been cranked. Yeah, they quickly crank me. But I'm gonna get my like scouts badge for for killing Papa Roach. Fair enough. Uh, yeah. Um, okay, so the Hulkster tumbles out of the window, rolls through the bushes. It's very comical. Children laugh. Yeah. Um, I pick up the TV, start looking around for somebody to help me. Somebody's gotta help me find these little guys, dude. Uh, and then I see, uh, I notice Slipknot playing for for their fans who are old now. Uh, and right. Hulkster sees the Shep Ramsey sees those and, 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 you know, because of the fanciful masks and, and such that they wear, he thinks they're aliens as well. He thinks they're some of Dragos' horde. It's like, oh no, the Emperor Dragos is here already, <laughs> dude. And he seems to be casting some sort of, they seem to be, uh, hi- using their, their space magic to hypnotize his crowd, brother. Uh, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta see if I can snap him out of it, dude. Um, so Hulkster, uh, gallops up to the stage as fast as little Hulk legs can carry him, which is not terribly fast. Um, um. He runs a little bit like a snowman. Um, yeah. uh, I get up on the stage um, and I, I immediately start breaking their instruments. I'm like, I gotta destroy the source of their power, dude! Um, just kicking in the drums, breaking the guitars in half on my knee, uh, throwing the microphone stands like like a javelin. Uh, it probably knocks some old person out, uh, cause that then and then more children laugh. Um, right. uh, and then the Slipknot's like, "What the hell, dude? Like, we're trying to play a show. Like, these our fans are getting real excited." Um, and Hulk's like, nah, bro, no, 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 nothing doing, brother. Uh, I can see that you're the the the, the evil horde of, of Dragos, dude. Uh, and I challenge you to a battle uh, governed by the, the rules of this of this earth or whatever. Um, <laughs> and they're like, okay, uh, I don't know, man, fucking water polo. Uh, so we get into the pool and play water polo, which is good to keep Hulkster's heart rate up. Uh, yep. And I play a, a, a comical uh, uh, yet dominating uh, game of water polo against Slipknot. And my team is entirely comprised of old people, uh, you know, uh, the, 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 the residents of, of, of the retirement community, and uh, yeah. against Slipknot. And obviously, um, 
I'm just overpowering uh, everyone because I'm I'm Hulkster. Uh, and Shep's used to working out in zero gravity, so he he like actually runs really fast uh, in water. Uh, it's freakish. Right. It's like Aquaman. Um, it's 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 actually kind of it's quietly terrifying uh, how quickly I move through the water. Um, <laughs> it's like finding out mermaids are real, but that they right, have sharp like teeth. You're like a boa constrictor in the water. Yeah, or exactly. Something. I'm like a water moccasin yeah. with 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 yeah. silky blonde hair, a silky blonde skullet, uh, uh, right. uh, 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 sweeping through the water behind me uh, <laughs> like mud flaps. Um, right. So yeah, I destroy Slipknot and water polo. Uh, and they're like, all right, dude, you broke our instruments. Uh, you beat us fair and square of water polo. And then I demand, it's like, oh, okay, this is what I want in return, dudes. You got to get back to space, tell Dragos to keep his claws off this planet. And also explain to me, brother, where these tiny little dudes inside this box went, brother. Um, and like, oh, that's, that's Papa Roach, man. They're up there. They're up there on the helipad. I'm like, all right, thanks, dude. And I toss the TV over my shoulder, uh, as I gallop, um, up, up to the, to the, to the rooftop. And it gives everybody a, a, a light electric shock. And it's very funny. And the children laugh. Um, yeah. and yeah, now I'm up on the roof. <laughs> fun for, for all the children. Yeah. It's fun for all ages, Dave, is, yeah. is the Hulkster's filmography. Yeah. Uh, all right. We're down, we're down to the Papa Roach. We're down to the final bots. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm going to go up to the helipad, but I have to go through the building, through the staircase as the predator. New <laughs> to predator, take the right? stairs. <laughs> yeah, I take the stairs. I, I, I don't want to be seen. Predator because I, climb, I'm new. Dave. Yeah, but I'm new predator. I'm new That's to this true. world. So I, I are, turn on my cloak. You, are you new predator, Dave? Are you like NU? New predator? New, like new yeah, metal? Yeah, new predator. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> sure. New predator. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and I, I go up the first flight of stairs, uh, and my fishnets get caught cause I'm like covered in fishnets, right? Yeah. I'm a yeah. Predator. It's like the combat webbing without, <laughs> I guess we'll just call they're them fishnets. fishnets. Yeah. They're fishnets. They're fishnets. You're wearing a fishnet um, body stocking. It's I fine. Am. And it gets caught There's on the banister. There's nothing wrong with it. <laughs> and it, and it like, it tears. Uh, and I'm like, fuck. And I trip trying to get out and I fall down the stairs uh while cloaked and i get knocked out this is an uh, unexpected s- development dave se- several <laughs> hours pass uh i wake up i wake up and since i was cloaked there is now at the very bottom of the stairs just a pile of old people who've tripped over me and who've just been murdered one after the other uh from tripping over the invisible predator and tumbling down the rest of the stairs uh and i roar out because i'm like you know like they they didn't pose a threat i killed a bunch of uh non-threatening old people mm. uh nonetheless i collect their skulls because i'm gonna tell i'm gonna tell them l- like later that they were a threat yeah they were ferocious uh, yeah yeah so <laughs> predators planting <laughs> guns on all of them yeah yeah exactly <laughs> uh and the, so now the predator's body these... camera mysteriously quit working during the right. exchange <laughs> So I have all these skulls and spines uh, yeah, and I'm like trying to go up the stairs and I trip over them and I bang my knees wicked bad. And I'm like, ah, fuck. So I get up my kit and hey, I do the thing where I, your kit where I, um, for your banged what? knees. <laughs> yeah. I get up my kit and I do the thing where I, I clip up, you I your seal knees. my banged knees <laughs> Listen, I'm very new, and I can't see anything uh, in this fucking helmet. Yeah. Uh, it's worse my, outside my dreads, of the helmet. <laughs> yeah, right. My dreads are all tangled up. I'm sweating. I'm so fucking, like, weighed down by this equipment. Sweating off your sunscreen. <laughs> yeah. And, I, and my... And my um... <laughs> your mosquito repellent broke when you fell right. down the stairs. My, fish, my fishnet's all fucked up, but I still have my... Um, a cloak on but it's like sort of flickering um and so i'm huffing up the steps <laughs> you look like the knockoff predator costume at like party city that's labeled like alien stalker or something right exactly <laughs> um i i i i get up and i'm going to the door and i don't even see this trash can that's right in the fucking way and i literally like i just go right over the trash can <laughs> i just hit it and tumble forward and i smash my face uh and it's it's not like it's not serious but it's really embarrassing uh and i tr- i trudge through the uh i i i trudge through the door uh to the to the helipad and i just look like shit uh, and so I, um, just, uh, 
I just immediately eviscerate half of Papa Roach with my gun because I'm like, I don't even care at this point. Like they're getting on the helicopter and it's, I'm so tired and I'm covered in bullshit. And as I'm walking, I just set my nuke timer. Uh, and I, and I just, uh, and I, and I, and I just, uh, like throw the, throw the, the, the bracelet at Papa Roach. Um, and I, uh, and I leave, <laughs> and I go to, a, I go to a Wendy's. What about your, um, what about your cranked up heart? Oh, right. <laughs> well, that's what the Wendy's is for. Listen, I, I, you know what? I go to Taco Bell. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. And I, uh, and I, uh, eat, uh, uh just, a. I, I, I just, uh, it really doesn't matter. It's just tacos really, but I have their inferno sauce, their extra hot sauce. And I'm just sitting there half cloaked at a taco bell, just eating tacos, uh, letting my heart just, you know, just race. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> and there's a distant explosion as Papa Roach dies at the retirement community. Um, and then the police come, uh, and they arrest me. Yeah. You know, that makes sense. They cuff me. Mm. I can't. I can't see. You know, I'm, <laughs> <laughs> my mask broke. Yeah, you look like you were at a new metal band. You're yeah, at a exactly. New metal band. Like you're you're at a show. <laughs> That's what happens. Yeah. Is they then charge me as one of the members of Slipknot. Yes, exactly. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> looks I, like I, I looks like I went to the thrift store to try to assemble a predator suit. Yeah, and then my heart explodes. <laughs> Yep, um, a hero's death, really. Yeah, you could you could call it that. <laughs> and the predators show up and they take my body and they hand the cops a gun from the 1600s or 1700s, <laughs> uh, and they're like, "Yeah, that's the that's what you get every time." Here you go. You know? Here's another one. Yep, and we then they, they of fly these off and they throw me on the pile, and then an alien bursts out of my chest for some reason. But the alien is uh, like a it's Papa Roach. It's an alien. <laughs> it has the static X hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got the static, <laughs> yeah. alien with static X hair. Sure. Uh, and then it, it cuts to the credits, and the credits are just like weird techno. And no, like it would be new text. metal. Oh, yeah, you're right. It would be new metal. It would be new metal. It would be Papa yeah. Roach. <laughs> no, you know what? It's not. It's weird techno. Okay. The director was like, should we use new metal? And they were like, no, that's no, terrible. No. <laughs> KMFDM. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Um, and I guess that's where my story ends. <laughs> <laughs> it's the end of my adventure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so Shep Hogan gets <laughs> up to the helipad. <laughs> Hulk Ramsey, suburban right. commando, gets up to the helipad uh, 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 and sees Papa Roach. He's like, how'd you guys get so big? And they don't know what the <laughs> hell I'm talking about. They they think they're they're like uh, we got old like you mean we grew up like they don't understand what I'm talking about or who I am right and then demand, you gotta tell me what you did to ship Ramsey's heart brother Are you working for Emperor <laughs> Dragos and they're like okay this guy is uh so they, they they just think I'm like some roadie that's just out of his mind on coke which is you know not far from the truth um so they just no. hasten their uh, retreat inside their helicopter like look man we got to get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> You just made Papa Roach sad. Yeah. <laughs> Papa Roach just got really sad. <laughs> I'm just a confused old bodybuilder. Yeah. <laughs> whose heart is visibly racing, asking them how they got so big. They think I maybe am like delirious and confuse them for his grandchildren or something. Right. Dude, you got so tall since the last time I saw you, brother. Um, so they pile into the helicopter and they're trying to take off and uh, uh, Suburban Commando's like, uh, not today, dude. Um, so I uh, improvise. I, I grab the little fire hose like John McClane, but I use it as a lasso uh, and I lasso it around the little foot, little foot rail on the helicopter and, and hold it in place like Captain America, like digging my heels in. And it's like, sure. it's like, it's like it's dragging me along and creating like huge piles uh, of asphalt in front of both my feet, sort of like, like a Wile E. Coyote type situation. Um, right. Children laugh. Um, and then finally, with one last, uh, I, I summon the power of Hulkamania. Um, I, I, start, I start stomping my feet and shaking my head. Uh, I take one hand off the fire hose so I can shake a finger at Papa Roach's helicopter. So, uh you done messed up, dude. Um, uh, eat a bunch of pasta mania. 
uh, you know, just to make sure, sure. My, my, my arteries are nice and clogged because um, the pasta mania is fried somehow. Uh, it's deep fried with <laughs> cheese. It's like pasta made out of mozzarella oh. sticks. <laughs> oh. That's disgusting. Mo- mozzarella stick pasta. Oh. Uh, <laughs> it's pasta mania, dude. Um, so I, I, I summon my, my, uh, my, my Hulk strength, my Shep Ramsey strength to pull the helicopter back down to my level. Um, and then I can feel, I can feel my heart. I can feel my heart, uh, you know, on its last little legs here. And Shep's like, I gotta, I gotta, we gotta take this. We gotta take this one for the galaxy. Little dude, little thumper dude. Um, it's me talking to my heart. Um, uh, and he does, he goes running up. Hulkster as fast as he's ever run before, which is not not very fast at all, Dave. It's, not it's, very it's fast, really yeah. not that fast. Um, and I leap up in the air, uh, for my mullet, silken mullet, billowing in the wind like the wings of an angel, Dave. Um, it's beautiful for for just the biggest leg drop, the biggest leg drop the world has ever seen. Because Hulkamania is running wild on this helipad, um, and I drop the leg <laughs> on the helicopter. <laughs> Uh, and just bring it down and it just fucking explodes in a huge fireball. And the fireball also has a mullet and a handlebar mustache. Um, new metal starts playing like a really sick new metal guitar riff. Um, nice. And then the wreckage clears. Um, and everybody's, it's very cartoonish wreckage. Like it's, it's, uh, you know, all the Papa Roach just has their hair sticking up and, you know, like black soot under their eyes and like smoke coming off them, you know? Right. Cause Ch- it's fair. It's family movie. Children, you know? children are laughing. Yeah. Um, Shep, Shep cl- was able to, I was able to clench my, my mighty buttocks, um, uh, my, my, my leathery orange buttocks, uh, uh, to prevent the, the, the spinning blades of the helicopter from doing any serious damage to my undercarriage. Right. Um, and then I, I was like, I demand to know what you did to my heart, brother. Why'd you dudes get so tiny inside that box and crank the Hulkster? Um, and they just explained that they thought it would be funny. Um, yeah, uh, they were right. And they were right. They were right. Uh, the children laughed and Hulkamania can't deny this. Um, yeah. So Hulkamania is like, all right, dudes, I got to uh, th- thanks. Thanks for ta- thanks for teaching the Hulkster the meaning of being spontaneous, dude. Living each day to the fullest because that's what being cranked really is. <laughs> taking your vitamins saying your prayers skateboarding from dawn to dusk brother uh and i get on a tiny little skateboard and skateboard off um while some uh, uh an mc hammer song starts playing over the end credits right and i get to the end of the street my heart blows up and i just fall over right <laughs> so we both died yeah. i guess that is the crank way yeah like, it was no that's crank. Out of this. yeah he dies in crank there's no way out of that <laughs> well he doesn't. Mm, he's technically. Certain, technically he doesn't, but he does. <laughs> yeah. We're going to get our heart taken out and like replaced or something for the sequel. Uh, I yeah. Forget, I forget that's, how that's he gets out of that. There's like a mid credit sequence um, where it shows uh, um, space doctors dragging Shep uh, into the OR and they, and they, they crack open his, 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 uh, his mighty Hulkamania uh, uh, chest, his, his Hulkster pecs. Um, and they replace nice. my heart with a much more powerful heart that has sunglasses and a bandana and a mullet and a handlebar mustache. Um, right. And it beats it beats once and the heart kind of winks. Uh, and the kids know Hulkster's going to be okay. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, I guess I'll, I'll put an end credits in mind where my body just continues to sit in the cell for several days because it's a uh, local sheriff department and they're yeah. not very good with that stuff. Nope. Uh, and so You're like, not that's... the only dead body <laughs> in the cell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a few in there's, there. There's yeah. more than one. <laughs> yeah, and I just... My cloak is half on, so I like slowly yes. decay. <laughs> and then there's just like a cloaked rib cage. <laughs> and that thing, pour, the, that thing just pulses out radiation, so just everybody's yeah. teeth are falling out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we did it, Tom. My, my bones feel wet. <laughs> we did it. We did what it. Bones. Whatever this is, Dave, we have done it. No one can deny that we didn't. That's Do true. It. Nobody can deny that we made an hour and 10 minutes of content. Yeah, exactly. For you. For, for you. All of you. We do it for, for you. For all of you, but mostly for who? James. For James, James Rainey. Rainey. Thank they, you, James. They are the one. Yeah, thank you, James. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, one more. We got two more draft actions. Really? Tom. Okay. Yeah. Before before we have have, have uh, completed the series, which isn't to say that we could bring it back, whether or not James wants us to. 
It's true. That's true. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we, but yeah, two, two we, more of these. We might bring it back. <laughs> we might. Honestly. We might, honestly. It's it's fun. It's a it's uh I, I I is it good? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe <laughs> maybe we should have guests. Yeah, we could. <clears throat> maybe we should do like mescaline. What while a terrible what a terrible you know? position to what a terrible corner to back our friends into. Mhm. We should absolutely we should. do mescaline. Sure. Yeah. Um, and just do it. And maybe mm-hmm. uh, here's what we do. We get two new guests. We just have them do it while we go do mescaline in the other I room. love that idea, Dave. Yeah. It's win-win. Yeah. It's uh, the draft action hero, the next generation. Exactly. <laughs> so, uh, thank you, James. This is through our Patreon, which is patreon.com slash gamefully unemployed. You can get custom podcasts done there. Also, for $5 a month, you get access to all of our podcasts, uh, well, all of our exclusive podcasts, which is Tom and Jeff Watch Batman, Fox Mulder is a Maniac, Spiel Boys, and Star Trek The Next Futurama. Those last two we do at the Small Beans, so you can go over there and get the rest of them. Also, we watch movies with our patrons every Friday night. Uh, that's uh, just, you just pay a little more. Every Friday, there's a movie night. We watch two movies, uh, and we have a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, we also have a store. Head over to GameFullyUnemployed.com where you can find a link to our Teespring store where we have all kinds of cool original artwork and designs you can get on t-shirts, mugs, stickers, posters, all sorts of things. So slap your leathery orange peepers on that. Yeah. yeah. Stick your stick your peepers in right, there like it's the, mashed potatoes. Drop a big boot and a leg drop on that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. God damn. <laughs> <Huh>? <laughs> You know, in a lot of ways, Hulk Hogan and Predator are the same. Neither can see well, I yeah, imagine. Yeah. They're both very veiny. I would, they, they have, like, kind of fishnetty stuff they wear. It's true, like, yeah. The, the, yeah. The distinct pattern uh, in their skin. Yeah, um, they've both uh, had sex with Bubba the Love Sponge's uh, wife. Mm-hmm. Probably, yeah. yeah. 